Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Wake up! Everybody! Wake up! Wake up! Come on, Arthur! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! I don't know, but we are getting off of this boat! You come on! Would you get a move on, you sleepy bastard? Please, Lord, hey, I'll be right behind you. Dear God. Dance. Dance. I'm okay. You? Yeah. No. This ain't moving. Uh, yeah, you go on ahead. I'll try and find another way. Oh, God damn it! What on... what? By the way, hello everyone, and welcome back to more Stephen Plays Red Dead Redemption 2. Things went south quick. What on earth? This is insanity. Holy crap. My, what? Wh I, wh I just, there's nothing that could have ever prepared me for the things that are happening. Like, I, I guess I didn't know where it was going. What? certainly went in some interesting directions. Holy crap. Red Dead Redemption very quickly became Gilligan's Island. No camera controls here. Just the ability to walk. It's interesting that they want you to control this. Like, I can stop walking. If I stop walking, I probably have some sort of animation about just, like, catching my breath. They could have easily made this a cutscene, but they want you to control the long walk. land on some island? This entire thing is just boggling my mind right now. Like, whenever you play a game or watch any sort of media, any sort of entertainment, you're always trying to, like, piece together things ahead of time. And I was doing that for Red Dead. Like, all these different possibilities. Uh, this could happen, or this could happen, or this could happen. And this was not on the list. Stowaway in a boat. The boat wrecks. Bad. And Arthur Morgan is alone on a beach in the middle of nowhere. Well, it looks like I've escaped the law, but at what cost?
Wait, whoa, whoa, where am I? Warma? What is going on? Holy piss. Well, I'm not in great shape. Um, I don't have a satchel. <laughs> I have my log. I don't have my journal. And I have no idea where I am. Can't use my eagle sight. I can smoke. Oh, I can look at smoke. Oh, that makes more sense. This is crazy. God. You're alive. Are you? Oh, boy, that's it. You're, a, you're alive. <laughs> Are there? Of course. Okay. It is a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Yeah, have, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody yeah. give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. What on earth? So... Where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guarm. Javier asked the local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. <laughs> Well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Encadenen a estos hombres! Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor, we are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. <laughs> we were lost at sea, in the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! 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 Let me be honest, there is no part of me that ever in a million years expected this. That means move! You've got a long walk ahead of you. My God. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? Oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles and other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. How very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. What if I don't walk? I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. They'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going to scenic route. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. Meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la casa, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, dispárales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. 
Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah! What now, Aiden? I don't know. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck, Ben. This is nuts. Well, for what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. This is... This is wild. There's another world. No. I don't believe it. I believe we're going to be out of here soon. There's no way... Who are these people? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuente. Well, I think. Todos. This is unusual. But hey, new friends. It's kind of nice, right? There are a lot of guys with guns. And then is that seven? I really don't need that many. We're all chained up. Seems unnecessary, really. Beautiful location. Look at the birds. I seem a little sunburnt. Oh, I can play first person. Oh, that's exciting. Not so much for that exciting stuff. That's a nice change of pace then. get myself killed. Probably should have stayed in cover. Gosh, you're not dead? Die already. Good work, Arthur. Everyone okay? Uh, yeah. Damn. Reinforcements. Oh dear. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, David, everyone, follow me. Quick, David, come, come, come. Ah. 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 Javier! Oh, get out of here. Get out of here, there's a lot of them. What do you think? We gotta move, Dutch. Go. Don't lose face, son. We'll find you. Cooey, cooey, go, go. We're just starting to add people to the list at this point. Trying to, I'm trying to keep, like, Walking Dead in mind. If you don't see him die, they're not dead, but, uh... It's probably not gonna look good for Javier. Quickly, I have some guns stashed here. Come. Hey. I wish I had some frickin' food. That would make this a little easier. Don't shoot me. These are not good guns. My God. They keep coming. I appreciate you being able to speak English. That makes this entire ordeal a little bit easier. Am 
Oh my god. So, can can someone tell me what's going on? on? Follow me. Quick. Yeah, this part of the game was never advertised, obviously. What are you doing here? They kept it a good secret. I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hercule Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So, who is this Fusar? A tyrant. Driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out, hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. If you help us get back our friend and get out of here, we will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Futa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well? Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I am so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, do some more scouting carefully. Wow. Wow. God, since this episode started, it just hasn't stopped. Holy crap. Welcome to the new world. So I don't have a journal. And I, I do have a satchel now. I just don't have anything in it. Oh, wait. No, binoculars and camera are still here. And I don't have any weapons. But probably not for long because there's apparently some weapons right here. Some pistol cartridges. Drop Cattleman Revolver for Volcanic Pistol. Didn't know my vol- what? Why is that there? Double Barreled Shotgun. Take. Probably gonna want all the ammo I can- I can hold? Just seems wise. Let's see, what do I got here? Oh, I just can't get out my weapons here. I have weapons, I just can't get them out. I understand. It doesn't matter, I'm still gonna take this stuff. Anything else I can grab here? My eagle sight works again. One dead or alive. That's a fun space to exist. I gotta admit, um, I always appreciate when games do this sort of thing, where Everything you know, you've built up, you feel like you have a good grasp on things, it's just all stripped from you immediately. Um, I actually kind of like that. Because you get comfortable in a game. You're like, oh, okay, I have enough money, I have enough ammo, I got a variety of guns, I have a good handle on things, and then suddenly, 
it all changes. And uh, it's uh, it's always a good way to, to, to help make a game more interesting and to, uh, I mean, really keep you on your toes. Rifle cartridges. And uh, there's probably a lack, a very distinct lack of ammo. So for that reason, it's worth taking the extra few seconds exploring and just picking up anything that you can find. Did I not pick that up? I tried. Alright. Anything else around? Before I walk out of this area? Can rest. Does this campfire allow me to craft and cook? It doesn't. Okay. Fine, sure. Uh, yeah, things are really different now. Um, God, I miss coffee. Of all the things. Fine morning. Of all the things I miss most, it's coffee. Oh, there's a lot of something over here. God, I'm going to be eating ca Like, I'm used to, like, if I'm in trouble, I'll be like, oh, just moonshine or... You know, cocaine gum or whatever. Because I had like a million supplies, and now I'm just going to be like, Oh god, canned vegetable quick before I die. Still can't believe it. Hosea, Lenny. Hosea was dying anyway, and Lenny. Mm, well, you know what they say about pride before a fall. That's all you got to say. Well... Try to keep your head straight. Okay. Man, they're they're serious about this. Do I have a map? Oh my god. Oh my god. I refuse to believe it. I ref I mean it's still impressive. It's still this area. I refuse to believe that I can go wherever I want. That the map is this big again. Oh crap! I got two things to check out: Stranger Mission and Dutch. I gotta get my bearings just to begin with, though. Still have just items. Where does it let me use my weapons? There we go. Okay, thirty-seven bullets. 93 bullets, 15 bullets. Cool. God. Is there wildlife here too? This is all just absurd to me, man. This is... <laughs> this is like legit... wild. Alright. I want to see Dutch first. Sorry, Dutch. I... It's just been, it's been an episode, or two, or three. You're to blame for a lot of things. Is that a bird? It's a beautiful bird. So there's birds you can only see here in Guarma. Holy crap. Okay, so there's probably some new flowers, maybe? Can I pick any of this stuff? I know an animal. It's a lizard. It's a green iguana. I mean... I hate to kill an iguana. I feel bad to kill an iguana, but also I'm like... Should probably have like a food source and, and stuff. Well, you're mine now, little iguana. Man, if you would have told me at the beginning of the game, oh, at some point you're gonna crash land on an island and you'll skin an iguana, I'd be like, that's a that's a funny joke that you told. It's kind of weird, but it, yeah, okay. There's still boars here. 
I'm familiar with Boars. This is actually, it's, it is, it's a completely new world. I mean, like, Rockstar frequently outdoes themselves on scope. And it's clear that they've outdone themselves again, but like, holy crap. I'm definitely expecting at some point to see some sort of unique, um, like flower or thing for, for crafting. I don't see it yet, but I, I expect to see it. Lots of boars. What else is around? Boars. Boars, lizards, some iguanas, uh, some birds. Probably some snakes, right? What on earth have I gotten myself into? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a bizarre spot to end. But I think it's fitting before we get ourselves into even more trouble. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, see you guys next time for more Steven Plays Red Dead Redemption 2.